Blessings, peace, and strength to wherever you are. And greetings, beloved. Going through the life experiences and listening to the voice of the Holy Spirit by the Word of God, the apostles, the prophets, and His envoys, one gets some clarity on things, having a joyful spirit, knowing that our salvation is near, and not walking by fear and moving by the bodily senses which limits us to see clear. We were driven out due to disobedience, not cast out, but forced to leave. However, we can come back to the way by obedience. If to Christ we cleave. So he drove out the man and he placed at the east of the garden of Eden cherubims and a flaming sword, which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. Let us recall and meditate and expound to as we have approached the heavenly place along the way, but shielded by the cherubims of Eden, a flaming sword, which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. It is important that upon approaching the way, one must know who is the way. A flaming sword that turns every way to keep the way of the tree of life and is shielded by the cherubims. Oh, you don't believe me, right? Then I looked and behold in the firmament that was above the head of the cherubims, there appeared over them, as it were, a sapphire stone as the appearance of the likeness of a throne. King Hezekiah also prayed unto the Lord, saying, O Lord of hosts, God of Israel, that dwelleth between the cherubims, thou art the God, you alone, and this shall suffice for our heavenly senses to see with our spiritual eye, and there I will meet with thee, and I will commune with thee from above the mercy seat, from between the two cherubims. Leaving what's behind us to go what is before us, we must come before him boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need and also he communes with us as our past heavenly parents Adam and Eve furthermore we cannot find the way if we don't see the door some thinking they can get in some other way without communion with our Lord and approaching the flaming sword No, no one enters in by any other way, lying, robbing, and thieving. For our Messiah said, Yahuwah said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that enter in not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. Here and in several chapters, before we find that there has been those among the populace, such as the Pharisees, and a few chapters back, the Samaritan woman, thought that they knew the door based upon the sayings of their fathers, and her forefather was supposed to be Jacob. The woman said unto him, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet, our fathers worship in this mountain and our messiah answer was ye worship you know not what we know what we worship for salvation is of the jews but the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the father in spirit and in truth for the father seeketh such to worship him so here the samaritan woman was very lost lost in the fact that she was fast And her fathers have not been teaching her the proper worship because those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And for this reason, her perception was off, not able to identify her true husband in spirit and in truth. And to the Messiah said, I am he. But he that entered in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him, the porter, the gatekeeper, the cherubims openeth and the sheep hear his voice 
and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. Do you see what is being said? Because yesterday is no different than today. Many people have claimed to be the Messiah, and most surely have even claimed to attempt to be him and carry another along the way. And in this time, no one is listening to the hireling. I mean, God's children are not listening to the Pharisees because the sheep know his voice. And that voice being of spirit and in truth, not a voice of racism as a Samaritan woman, being a respecter of persons as if she perceived the Messiah to be, even though he asked her for water. Nevertheless, even after she led her people to the Messiah, they did not believe her by her word, but by the Messiah's word alone. And it says, And many more believed because of his own word. And her people said to her, Now we believe, not because of thy sayings, for we have heard him ourselves, and know that this is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world. Again, another who went before him, and the stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. We don't know the voice of strangers. Just as in their day they heard the Messiah, understood the miracles, which was the work of the Father, and they believed and heard his voice. Nevertheless, those who were double-minded and always condemning and trying to control the people, so to speak, they was not listening to them, such as the Pharisees and others. And again, another. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. Ruler, Greek meaning archon, specifically a public office, one specifically over the Jews, an archon, a ruler. The same came to Yahuwah, by night, and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher, come from God, for no man can do these miracles that you do us, except God be with him. Hmm. The one who speaks is one, specifically a ruler over the Jews. Yahuwah answered and said to him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except the man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Right on. Now Nicodemus' position is sweating, nervous, and considering he's out at night, let alone he's not trying to get caught or even be seen by the people with the Messiah. And the Messiah just told him something, stalling him out, because Yahuwah knows Nicodemus does not know what he's talking about. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born again? When he is old, can he enter into the second time into his mother's womb and be born, says the archon. Yahuwah answered, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except the man be born of water, born of water, baptism, that he might sanctify and cleanse it within the washing of the water by the word, that he might present it to himself, a glorious church, not having spot, or wrinkle, or any such thing, and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, Nicodemus, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Nicodemus at this point is mind blown and nervous at the same time. Marvel not that I said unto you, Nicodemus, ye must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh and whither it go. So is every one that is born of the Spirit. The archon at this point is now totally clueless. Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? Yahu answered and said unto him, Are you a master of Israel? and knows not these things. Here again, yet another who thought what they were taught 
was the truth. Reading several verses down, the Messiah was in Judea with the disciples and he tarried with them. It's here if Nicodemus stuck around, he would have got understanding on being born of water. In conclusion, I am the door by me. If any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture my heavenly place. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. They're doing it now. I am come that they might have it more abundantly. So come, my beloved brethren and sisters. So let us continue to lay hold on Yahuwah and walk that narrow way. Guided by the Ruach, all praises to the Most High, so that we may commune with the higher on that everlasting day. Blessings, beloved. Speak with you soon.